so y'all had at Dakota Kai win on TakeOver and then a cage match just to lose to me and you. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's me, Mia Yim, and you can catch me every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on WWE NXT on the USA Network. So today is a highly requested video uh, following from the BRE mean tweets. Now this is just going to be my mean tweets, but I've got a lot of good ones and these, <sighs> they're never ending. I hope you guys are ready. This one is short and sweet, and it says, I f***ing hate Mia Yim. <sighs> you mad? <laughs> Which is fine. You can be mad. You can hate me all you want. I'm still going to do me, and it's not going to affect me, my work, or nothing. So please continue to hate me, because I am still going to be busting my ass and making a name for myself at least you know my name so I get this these kinds of tweets normally on a regular during Black History Month and if you follow me on Twitter you definitely have seen me clap back on some of these fools this one I've gotten recently and it says pretends to be black is really Asian I present to you my father My father disagrees, of course, uh, as well as my sister and myself. So I don't know what pretends to be black even means. I'm actually half black. And there are people that will say that because I'm half black or my sister's half black or anyone that's half black, they're really not black. Yes, we are. And we're proud. So don't tell us what we are and what we aren't. We are black and we are Asian. There's no pretending to be anything here. So these two tweets are from the same person. I ultimately had to block them because they just kept taking their anger out on me because their favorite is it on TV, but I am. So I just blocked them and just carried on with my life. But he made an appearance on this video. And it says, Tony Storm would kick her ass. Mia Yim was trash in TNA and still is trash now. That's his first tweet. And then his next tweet, how do they use you over Tony Storm? It's ridiculous. Tony is the best female on the roster and they treat her like dirt because they rather use you. It is June 25th and there has been a lockdown on travel since what, March? So there's your first answer, idiot. She can't even come to the States. Secondly, I do agree. Tony is one of the best female talents in WWE right now, but don't take your anger out on me because I am here in Orlando and 20 minutes away from filming than overseas. If you got a problem with it, you're definitely telling the wrong person. Cry about it. Oh, and Tony, if you're watching this, you're awesome. <laughs> this next one, once again, as usual, Stop acting hood. We all know you ain't from the hood. First of all, I never claimed to be from the hood. From the hood. Never claimed. I am originally from Southern California. Uh, I've always had a roof over my head and food on the table. However, everyone has their issues growing up and their struggles. I am very open with mine, whether it's from my childhood days in California or uh, my domestic violence uh, experiences so I don't know what you mean stop acting hood I, I don't know why people keep pointing their fingers at me and telling me to stop acting this way or that way um, I'm gonna continue to act me how I am and how I live my life you can continue to waste your energy telling me how to act because I'm still gonna do me this was from takeover in your house and it says, and when I thought I couldn't dislike Mia more than I already do, she comes out with the sweatpants Timberland combo. Awful. I am not a fashionista. 
I go for comfort. And if you don't like what I wear, then you can cry about it all you want, but it ain't gonna change a damn thing. I am comfortable, I don't wear heels, I don't like skirts. I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear, and if you don't like it, kiss my ass. So once again, this one is from when me and Keith have been tagging, and a fan came up with this name months ago when we first uh, displayed our relationship on social media, and they called us Yumitless, which I personally, both Keith and I, believe this is to be a very uh, clever name. I would have never came up with it myself. I'm not that creative, but I think Yumitless is a very creative name. Now, everyone is allowed their own opinion, which is which is fine. I'm not, it is what it is. However, this person says, can we please have Mia Yim wrestle men because I'm so ridiculously bored of Yim versus Candace. Also, Team Yimitless is an awful name. You could be bored. I'm still gonna do me. And whether I wrestle men, women, Candace, Dakota, whoever, be bored. <laughs> I'm still gonna be living my dream in the ring. And like I said, I personally like the name Yimitless. You can also think Yimitless is an awful name, but how are you gonna quote Team Yimitless is an awful name rather than just quoting Team Yimitless? Like that's just the grammar police in me. But if you're gonna insult me, at least at least have the grammar and spelling correctly. Is that too much to ask? This tweet is a response from my creepy DMs video. And you guys probably seen it on Twitter because I did call them out on it. And this person says, what did you think would happen? You're a female celebrity on social media. You should just hire someone to run your account like Cena or Rock. This happens all the time, whether it's when females complain about DMs, mean tweets, um, sexual assault, a bunch of things. And these people just love to just pit it back on us. What did you think would happen? Like, come on now. We did not sign up to be wrestlers to get these tweets or these DMs or to get assaulted. Like, why don't you actually consider the fact that maybe, just maybe, the world needs to be a better place and people need to raise their sons a little bit better with more respect? Not even just sons, females as well. Parents should raise their children to have respect rather than just put it on someone who say walks down the street in a skirt and blames them for getting taken or something. I hate that victim blaming <laughs> So this one's kind of funny. Um, and I have gotten several uh, mistakes like this just because of my hair. Um, but I don't really take offense to it. I think it's funny. This person says, look fantastic, Sasha. You're, you're a very great person. I'm glad to be a fan of yours and Bailey. You're a great team at see a lot more of you. Thank you very much. God bless you and keep you safe from this horrible virus that's going around the world. So I have blue hair, as you could tell. Sasha has blue hair now. And I get confused for Sasha a lot, even though we're two, two different people. And I also like to think that even though we both have blue hair, our hair still looks different. <laughs> so thank you. I mean, Sasha is gorgeous, so I'll take the compliment, but it's a common mistake that I'm used to at this phase. I, I just, I laugh at these kind of tweets. It's, it's kind of, it's funny to me. I don't take offense to it. It's funny to me. And of course, we gotta go with the with the people that always have something to say about your appearance. This person says, Mia Yim, she is ugly as hell and I'm kinda scared to be honest, dude, ha ha. Well, I'm glad I scare you. I hope you stay scared. And you may think I'm ugly as hell, but I'm not everyone's cup of tea. Be scared, dude. Yo, Mia Yim is trash. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. She is trash. And they spell trash incorrectly with a D. Trad. 
She is trad. Huh. Once again, if you're going to insult me, at least have proper grammar and spelling. <sighs> That's all I ask. I can't take you seriously if you if you, if this is if this is going to be the type of tweets that you send me. <laughs> you say that I'm trash though, but it looks like your 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 profile picture looks like a character from Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas or something. What are you, a part of the, the Ballas gang? <laughs> so, <laughs> these next two tweets include uh, Dakota Kai here. And it said, so y'all had at Dakota Kai win on TakeOver and then a cage match just to lose to me again. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's no, it's <laughs> not! <laughs> I'm not even good! <laughs> I well, just cheat all the time! What the f***? But then... Right. Oh, it's okay. I'll bleep. dolphin emoji. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll bleep it. Yeah. And a dolphin emoji. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, if you were sh then I... Why do I get another tweet saying, decision. Mia Yim is so boring and a <gasps> dreadful wrestler. I f***ing hate Mia Yim. Poor Dakota should leave... <gasps> poor Dakota should leave NXT and get treated better. Oh my god! Where would you go? <laughs> I know what you guys would say. No, right. that's so stupid, man. Well, well, I don't think you're, you're boring. Well, I think you're exciting. I, I'm boring. No, I'm no. the boring one. No, you, what do I do? You kick what my. What do I do? You kick <laughs> my. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do anything. Y'all are freaking twisted. So if you guys ever wanted to see, like, the the minute you pit one above the other, this is what we do. We laugh at you. Yeah, so. and then we say the other person's way better than us. Yep, because I'm. Honestly, Me so. too. You keep saying that. <laughs> no, I'm actually good. I'm fake. <laughs> so this is a recommendation that I got from my creepy and weird DMs video and people have been asking me to include some positive DMs or positive tweets. So this last portion of the video is all going to be just some of the positive tweets that I have gotten now. I am not going to block out their username or anything because I feel like they deserve the recognition just for being decent human beings in the crazy world of social media. So Paranormal Elizabeth says, Mia Yim is one badass chick. That's it. That's the tweet. Paranormal Elizabeth, you have no idea. Actually, everybody. We actually do love and appreciate all the positive tweets that we get. We're just unable to really get to all of them. So I just wanted to, to specifically say thank you all for being some positive light in social media. So Paranormal Elizabeth, thank you. Thank you for that. I do appreciate that tweet. Alex, Trish, and Charlotte fan says, I think Miriam was born with the natural ability to be a savage and have so much swag. Appreciate that, thank you. Thank you. I try to be savage on social media without crossing the line, but that's when I have the most fun is being able to clap back on fools, but thank you. Appreciate that. I think this was after the mixed tag that I just had. Dennis Franklin Jr. says, in all caps, low key, Mia Yim is not trash. And then Bruiser Ripley says, you big late, LMAO. So you both, <laughs> When I saw both of these tweets, I just died laughing because, like I said, I just I just got that other trash tweet a couple days earlier. So it's nice to see that people as well disagree. So to you two, thank you. I'm glad I'm not trash. Now, Scott Fishman, I've worked with him several times. I've met him several times. He's awesome. I like him a lot. He's awesome. He says... Candice LeRae and Mia Yim work well against one another. Thank you. So if you don't know, Candice and I, we have wrestled several times in the independent scene. So it's nice being in the ring with someone that I'm comfortable with and someone that I know can go with me and won't, like I can't be, I, I, I don't need to be delicate with. So I do appreciate people being able to see the the chemistry between Candace and I. Now Sarah says, Mia Yim deserves all the recognition. 
Thank you, Sarah. I'm still working on my craft and my character and just everything all around. So I don't want all the recognition yet. I don't think I'm ready for it, but I do really appreciate <laughs> this really sweet tweet. Thank you. So this was a short but sweet video. Just wanted to get something out there, some form of entertainment, both positives and negatives, just to get your mind off things and to see what kind of tweets that a female professional wrestler gets and I can guarantee you this is not going to be the last one of my mean tweets video I will be working on more of these and I'm already working on a weird and creepy DM video part two so make sure you guys comment hit the like button hit that little notification bell so you can keep up to date with all these interesting videos that I'm coming out with so thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you on the next one bye